Alright, what you do? Morning, it's Stuart Hood here. You're watching FHM.com, 100 Great Adventures. And this is Stuart versus Mount Kinabalu, featuring the world's highest Via Ferrata. Via Ferrata is basically an iron road. The idea is that it's uh, a ladder, basically, at the top of a mountain. They used to use it for snipers in the uh, First World War to stop people going across the Alps. And, uh, yeah, this one's the highest. It's actually about 11,000 feet. It's also hot, and uh, so plenty of water required. Less than a kilometre in, and uh, I'm faced with this. And uh, kalau kat tapi satu ada permit, satu ada di baru. Shit. Heavy breathing, back is swelling, and it's uh, not good. Not good. It's real men doing real jobs. <laughs> uh, I'm struggling to breathe. No and I've come across these two Sherpas. That's 20 kilograms of rice they're carrying. Absolutely amazing. Four kilometers down. Uh, only problem, the next two are like that. It's the tough part. Mental strength required. Do I have any? I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard now. It is really, really getting quite hard. Just past the uh, 5k mark, um, the air is getting thinner, the ascent is getting steeper, uh, my heart is getting faster. This is relentless. <coughs> roll on bed, roll on the end, roll on sleep. I've just looked across the valley and I've seen this. The destination. But that's not even the top peak. That's just one of the peaks. Our sharp hasn't even broken sweat. Burnt to a fucking crisp. All for FHM, all for the fucking readers. Right now, right now, do you know what? I'd take a job in the city, however precarious. However precarious. Give me ten minutes, and I'll love my job again. Apologies for the language I'm about to use, but fuck me. I've just been told our heart is up. Five minutes away. Only issue is... It's up that. That is it. 6k up mountain. 2.5k to do tomorrow morning. And then 8.5k down. I guess. I will sign off now. It's now 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, people are preparing to go up the summit. And uh, all that bullshit I told you last night about legs feeling okay and all that complete crap. They're heavy as fuck, and I don't know anymore. I don't actually know what the point in going up would be. I've come a hell of a long way up this mountain. Is there any point going any further? But while I'm thinking about it, here's another shot on my double chin. I didn't go up. Uh, I bottled it, I guess. Uh, people will say. I know I was going to become a liability for the team. Um, so I didn't do it, I quit. Um, I'm ashamed, uh, not of the fact I quit, I think you, you have to know your capabilities and your limitations. Uh, I'm ashamed of the fact I'm not fit enough to do it. Left thigh will probably be in agony tomorrow. But the good news is I've got a 12 hour and a half hour flight back to London. I mean, this bit is easy, this bit and the way I feel makes me wish I'd gone to the summit this morning. But then again, I know had I done so, I wouldn't be feeling like this. But look at this. This guy's climbing eight and a half kilometers and about 3,000 feet. That is genuinely amazing. I struggled to get that sort of thing out of the IKEA trolley into my, into my car boot. This mountain is beating me up. God, I'm gonna get drunk tonight. So here we are, we're back at the start. Knees throbbing, thighs throbbing, hamstrings throbbing, calves throbbing. This has been Stuart Hood versus Mount Kiribalu, FHM, open bracket, dozen, close bracket, walk the world's highest via ferrata. For more 100 Great Adventures, see fhm.com forward slash adventure. Peace out.